Hey, how's it going everyone? Today we're going to talk about 10 glitches after the latest patch, version 0.1.5.1. A lot of points there. We're also going to be talking about some other things that you can do because if you did not watch the prior glitch video where we talked about the 15 glitches, those work still. Now the difference between that video and this video is that I'm going to talk about some of the glitches I did not include in that glitch video. Also I will be talking about some things that have been patched. So now you know what to expect out of this video, let's go ahead and dive right into this. Let's begin by talking about what has been patched. If you guys have been trying to do the wanted level glitch, it has now been officially fixed. So when you try to go all the way up here and you try to spawn them, what you may notice in this clip right here is when you take a look at the top right at the wanted level, each time that I hit these NPCs, the number is not going up one bit, but if you're on the ground, it does. So maybe it's just the way I have this set up, which it's always worked in the past, but if you guys can get it to work, let me know down below in the comment section. Alrighty, with that information out of the way, let's go ahead and talk about some of the glitches that you can do in the latest patch. If you would like to reset your pal's ability instantly, you can use your ability, then drop the pal, open up the menu here, go towards the second tab, which would be party. You can see that the pal is on the bottom. We are going to drop, accept it by clicking yes, pick up the pal, and spawn it down again. Use the ability and you should see that you can use it once more. So now that we know how to do this glitch, we can then talk about the next step. We are going to throw down our pal. Once the pal has been summoned, hold down the pal ability button, which is on the bottom. You'll see the icon. And at this point, we want to continue holding down the F button. You should see that your pal is going to run towards you. So while you're holding down the partner ability button, you're going to send your pal back into its sphere. We want to do this right as it gets close to our arms or close to our body because at this point it's going to try to send it back into its sphere, but what's going to happen is it's going to get stuck in your hands. You will see that there's no icon on the bottom and you can continuously use the ability. Next up at number 3, we're going to talk about the viewing cage boss glitch. What you're going to need is a base that you can create that's near the boss. You're going to also need a viewing cage available, which is available early game if I'm not mistaken. You're going to place that down and then you want to create something like this on the right side, which is going to consist of a foundation and a wall. You're going to see how this is going to work right here. We're going to trigger the boss. We're going to climb the wall and push towards the left. At this point, the boss is not going to be able to attack us, but we can shoot it if the boss is big enough and kind of clips through the barrier. There. But if the boss is not that big, you can use something like the sword or possibly even something like a machete. You can even try that, the butcher cleaver, I should say. Something like that, try that out, and you should see that you're able to damage the boss through the barrier. The boss should not be able to attack you or hurt you at all when you are inside here. If you wish to leave, you can easily climb on the side there and that is what that whole foundation and wall is for so that you can exit and enter inside the viewing cage whenever you need to. And onwards towards number 4, we're going to talk about a great way to take out a boss without the viewing cage or without your home base if that's something that strikes your interest. We're going to create a foundation, create a ramp, or more so stairs that are pretty much going to lead up to the very top. We're going to lead the boss all the way towards the top, use the option to delete the top portion so that the boss falls down. What I suggest is that you make your ramp or your staircase a lot a lot taller because that can happen and also use a use a glider of some sort moving onwards we're going to talk about the next glitch which involves using the butcher glitch which by the way it does work after the latest patch we're going to hop on top of it and then we're going to demount once you have noticed that you have some items go ahead and remove them if you're overweight like i am right here we're going to summon down our pal again you can see that it's going underneath the map that's good news Enter inside the tower, you should see the boss. We're going to skip through the cutscene here. There's no need to watch it, really. Fly over towards the entrance here, and we're going to go towards the barrier. Throw down your pal, push forward, and exit out. You're going to go underneath the map, and then you're going to push towards the top. That's perfectly normal. Now you're outside of the bounds. We're going to then summon down our pal once more, but we need to remove it from our party. Summon down it, hop on top of the mount, go towards the very top, but we're going to go towards the right when we do this, because we need to rest and make sure that we have enough stamina. 
we're gonna fly all the way towards the very top here. We want to go to the very top until we see the text and hit the barrier, then drop down below. You're going to see that the boss down below in the dead center there is not moving. This is good news. We want to redo the butcher glitch so that we can pop back inside the map. So if you do not know how to do that, you're basically going to butcher your pal and at the very last second there, towards the end of the butchering, you're going to hop on top of your mount. So we're also going to rinse and repeat the same exact steps, but the opposite way there. We're going to use the uh, pal to get back inside the map. And you can start firing away at the boss. The boss will not move, and you can tell right there, I have just defeated the boss because it was frozen. So with number five out of the way, we're going to move on and talk about number six. This next one is quite easy to do, and it was one of my favorite glitches at the beginning of the game, but they unfortunately patched the legit version, which you were able to keep the glider or the T-Pose glider forever, but that has been patched since, I think, like two patches ago. But all that you need to do here is we're going to create a bed. We're going to need a glider, a POW glider mainly, and you want to make sure that you do not have a glider equipped. So it should only be your PAL glider. Once you have that, you can then travel over towards a location. You want to hurt your PAL so that it's knocked out. Once you see that the PAL is knocked out, head back towards your base, locate your bed, sleep, rest, whatever you want to call it. And you should see that when you wake up and you try to use your glider, you're going to be in the T-Pose. The only difference between this method and the previous method that was patched when you were able to swap your armor and all that, this one is not permanent. So when you do decide to leave the game and join back, you're going to see that you're back to your basic glider. So that's the unfortunate part about that glitch. Anyways, here we are at number seven. We're going to create an egg incubator. We're going to place an egg inside. Make sure that it's nice and toasty. Do not create another one because that might make it way too toasty. Once you see that the timer is going down from 10, 8, 7, you're going to go inside the incubator, grab the egg. Now, do not pick it up normally. What you're going to do is hold down the left mouse button and tap tab on your keyboard. You can do this on Xbox if you do have a keyboard and a mouse. You should see that your cursor has turned into an egg icon. You can place that in your bag once the timer has went down and then you can go ahead and hatch that and place in the other egg. And now at number eight, we're gonna talk about a great way to pick up some easy, easy pals, which can be found over here in this floating island. Now they're pretty tough, but there is something that you can do. You can head towards the wall here and use the breach glitch to go through the wall and you can attack the pals and they cannot do a single thing back. So you just summon down your pal, hop on top of the wall and then pet the pal. You should see that your pal is gonna go up to the wall. Now, if you do not have a flying type pal, that's okay. You can use a ground type. It just does not matter. Any pal should work. You're going to use that pet option. You'll merge right on through. You can also create a home base here if you would like to. So that way you can fly back and forth. You can capture these pals. You can shoot them through the walls. They cannot do a single thing back. Overall, making this super easy for you to capture pals, take them out for XP, do whatever you want, and you should have a great time here. You can summon down your pals from the pal box, and if you would like to, you can exit out by summoning down your pal. Another thing that I would like to talk about is glitch number nine. This one is pretty interesting as well. If you did not know, there are some pals that can spawn underneath this volcano. You're going to head towards the wall here, or towards the left side of the volcano, Grip onto the wall and pet your pal. Get on top of your pal by holding down the mount button and you should merge through. You want to go underneath the map here and try to fly your way inside with your other mount. If that's not possible, you should try it again and see if it does work like it does there. You should see that there's a pal hidden underneath here. We're gonna take it out and we're gonna respawn it. Exit out, join back, and you should see when you join back, the pal will be there. Now note when it's daytime, it will be a completely different pal each time that you spawn back in. If I had some legendary spheres or actually more spheres in general, I would have definitely tried to capture this pal, but unfortunately, I ran out of them. I literally did. But there you go, that's how you do that glitch and I hope you guys have a fun time with that one. We're going to move on and talk about the last and final glitch 
which I'm sure all of you are pretty much assuming that already works, and that's right, it does. That's the PAL Spear Launching Glitch. This one's pretty simple. If you do not know this glitch, you can easily throw a sphere at one of the enemies, hop on top of it, and it will launch you up in the air. This one works after the latest patch, and with that being said, thank you guys for supporting the channel. If you have any questions, comment down below, and I'll see you all in the next one.